Hey there friends, Rebecca here, the Dragon Librarian from Farmington Community Library. And Razmataz and I are here today to talk to you about a book that we are absolutely super, super hyped to talk to you about. We are so, so excited about this book. Um, it's by an author that I really, really love and admire. Um, it came out a little over a month ago, uh, maybe about a month and a half ago. And I have not been able to stop hyping this book up to people and talking about it. And I have just really, really, really been looking forward to sharing it with you guys today. And the reason I waited until now to share it is because it is the perfect book to read during Pride Month. I mean, really, you can read it anytime. It's so amazing. Um, but it really, for a lot of different reasons, is perfect for this time of year, which is Pride Month. Happy Pride. So the book that I am talking about is Imogen, Obviously, by Becky Albertalli. Imogen, obviously. Now, the reason, um, there's, like I said, there's a few reasons why I love this book so much. So the first one is Becky Albertalli um, is an author that is so, so, so incredible. Um, she wrote Simon vs. the Homo Sapien Agenda. She's written a bunch of other books. Um, she's been producing queer books for readers for years now, and I've not read anything that I didn't love by her. She's just fantastic. Um, but this one in particular is really special, and I have to say, as much as I love a lot of her other works, I think this is probably her best yet. So if you are already a fan of her books and love her writing, definitely going to love this one. If you've never read anything by her before, this is a great one to start with. So what is this book about? This is about um, Imogen, obviously, who she believes is just the best um, LGBTQ ally that there is. She knows all about all the queer discourse online. She's got a queer little sister. Two of her best friends are queer. She just, she goes to all the pride meetings at her school. She just knows where it's at. She is very supportive and loves all queer media and everything. So, but she believes she's straight. She's, you know, her whole life always thought that, right? So of course that can't change. So, let's talk about her friends again for a second because I said she's got two queer best friends. So she's got a friend named Gretchen who definitely is the kind of person that loves to call other people out on things that she thinks are problematic. Um, whether they are or are not is a whole different story, but she loves calling people out. She calls Imogen out on stuff all the time. That's just the kind of person she is. Lily is a little bit older. She's just gone to college um, and she's just recently come out as bi. So she's got a whole bunch of queer friends at college that she wants to introduce Imogen to. So when Imogen goes there one weekend, she does introduce her to all these great people. Um, and one of them is this girl named Tessa, who Imogen is like, really just can't stop thinking about. And they strike up this friendship and they can't stop texting. And she's just like, really loves being around this girl. But it can't mean anything, right? Because she's definitely straight, right? 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 So yes, this is basically all about Imogen's coming out experience where she is slowly, slowly, slowly learns that she is in fact bi. And she just, once she starts to put it all together, it all makes sense. All the little things that have gone on in her life that she never really added up before, you know, feelings that she's had about girls that she never really associated with being queer, just with, you know, really strong friendships and stuff like that. Um, and it is the most beautiful, adorable coming out story ever, hands down ever. It's so, so, so cute. So one of the things though that crops up is when Imogen goes and meets, uh, Lily at her school and she meets all these friends, including Tessa, um, Lily has come up with this fabrication that her and Imogen have you dated in the past. So she introduces Imogen to these people as already having been queer. So because of this and because Imogen goes along with it, she's afraid that she doesn't really, isn't really being truthful with herself. And she wonders, you know, am I really bi? Am I just, you know, trying to fit into this narrative that Lily was saying? Like, do I even really know what I'm talking about right now? And just goes through this really like, you know, confusing for her and like, you know, painful situation where she just doesn't know and is trying to find out. Um, but the, a big reason why I like this book, there's two really big reasons. So the first one is this more of a serious reason, which this book deals a lot, a lot, a lot with um, a lot, a big problem in the queer community, which is gatekeeping other queer people, which is kind of ridiculous because, you know, the queer community is always getting a lot of hate and vitriol thrown at us from a lot of different directions, right? The last place we need any more problems is within the own community. But 
unfortunately that's what happens especially with um with those in the queer community who are bi and you know as imogen is bi in this and lily is also you know her friend that is bi it deals a lot with bi phobia it deals a lot with um the way that we treat other people in the community in a problematic way and it just calls out all of that which is amazing because i don't know that i've ever read a book particularly a young adult book um that does that and it's just so so good so basically like everybody has their own truth you've got to stick to it and nobody really has the right to you know harass you about it so no matter whether you're in the community or not right so this book is really 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 good at calling that into focus but the other more fun reason of why i like it is because it's just a fun fun book becky albertalli writes some of the best dialogue ever the conversations and dialogue between Tessa and Imogen is just so cute. You will die. It is just so, so, so adorable. Um, and it's just a really well-written, fun book. So if you like cute stories, um, if you like stories that have a little bit of a backbone to them and you're going to learn something from it, if you just love queer stories and you're looking for a great book to read this Pride Month, Imogen obviously is a fantastic pick and I really hope you'll read it because it's absolutely wonderful. Imogen, obviously. Well, that's what we've got for you guys today. I hope that this book sounds really awesome and you sound, you're sound you just as excited to read it as I have been to talk to you about it. Um, if so, please feel free to come check it out from Farmington Community Library. And, if you, um, and uh, please also give this video a like. Thank you so, so much for watching, friends. Have a wonderful rest of the day.